Hello everybody, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel, Mario Line here. Um, I just wanted to quickly jump on and show you some things that I made. Um, I'm a member of a Facebook group. We are Memory Keepers Punchboard Groups. Group. Uh, it's fun. Uh, you see different things that you can do with all kinds of punch boards. Um, there was this girl that posted some um, cards that she had made, pinwheel cards. And I wanted to try it. She had a link to a video tutorial on YouTube uh, with it. So I tried it. And these were the ones that she showed. I tried it and this is what happened. I got a box, a pinwheel box, also very cute. So I showed these on the group, like thank you for the link, I made them too. They are adorable and it's not a lot of work. Um, she's like, hey, that's weird. Yours are um, are more are different. They're a box. So, well, yeah, that's what you uh, showed, or at least that what that's what the link <clears throat> referred to. Boxes. So that was kind of a happy accident, because these are so cute. Um, let me see if I probably won't be able to put it back in anymore uh, so this is how you open it and you close them by going like 12 o'clock here 3 o'clock 6 o'clock 9 o'clock and you start with the 12 o'clock then you put the 3 o'clock on top and then the 6 o'clock on top and then you have to slide the nine o'clock underneath, which is pretty hard sometimes, but there we go. I did it. <laughs> and then I had this cute little tag punch, uh, punched out that one, and I just glued it on uh, the design paper and uh, cut it out. And I'm gonna put these candies in. I made four of them. This one and this one. These two are both um, Christmas lines by Basic Grey. I used to have all their papers uh, back in the time when I still did scrapbooking and I still had some Christmas paper left. I am almost out of it now. And unfortunately, they stopped making paper lines, only have fabric, I think. And this one and this one is uh, from the Hello Winter uh, line by Echo Park. So I got four of these. And then this is cute too. I made a belly band with the pinwheel on top. And this opens like that it's the same way you just slide it in 12 3 6 and 9 has to go under and there we go so you can write a message in there or I don't know it is cute but I have to say that I was very happy with the wrong video link because I like these better and you can put anything that you like in there, of course. I I just put those candies. I'm, I'm going to put those candies in. And then uh, she showed something else. A Hershey Kisses uh, holder gift thing. Thingamajingy. Officially, there. this has to be open. And you can put a gift card in here and then you just punch out half a circle here so you can slide it in. I did not do that 
but I loved the Hershey Kisses idea in here. And um, this stamp I bought at Michael's last week, so I could use it. This comes from a stamp set that I bought in the Netherlands, and it has Dutch Christmas wishes on it, but this Merry Christmas one too. And there's acetate here for the window and this ribbon. Okay, I suck at making bows, so don't look at that. This ribbon I bought at Michael's last week too. So that one I made. And this one, it comes down to the same. I just used a different ribbon. Uh, and I'm going to make two more for... Uh, my daughters and my daughter-in-law and uh, my hubby and what's left from the Hershey Kisses I'm gonna eat myself so um, this is really fun so I'm really looking forward to making two more oh and I'll put the links for the tutorials for these and for the boxes and for uh, this card in the description box and then I did something completely different. Um, there is a lot of uh, craft fairs going on lately. And in the past three weeks, I've been to four. And the last one was in town here last weekend. And uh, it's a lot of sensi stuff and... Uh, Oh, crochet, knitted, uh, the nail things, I forgot how that was called, that you can uh, kind of, I, I don't even know how it works, but nail stuff and legging stuff, but there was this lady sitting there and she was selling wooden blocks with a paw print and she had something with cat and something underneath and for the dog too. And I figured she was asking, I think, six bucks for it. I was like, you know what? I can do that myself. So hubby made these two blocks for me. I'm not even sure how big they are. And my inch ruler is not here. I think this is a one and a half inch wide. So this is probably like five inches, I think. And... Um, I, stand, I painted it um, brown first, burnt umber, and then I added uh, vintage white. <clears throat> I uh, cut out a paw print with my Cricut, so that was the template. And then uh, I stamped cat meow and dog woof. And I think they are adorable. Maybe I'll ask my husband if he can make a, a hook in here or something that you can put it in as an ornament in the Christmas tree. I'm not sure yet, but I made these for my uh, daughter and her girlfriend. They both have, uh, they have both a cat and a dog. So, yeah, funny. I like them. I want to make another one for my other daughter, too. So I hope they're not looking at this video, but, uh, well, we'll see. And, um, well, that's about it. All that I wanted to show you. I haven't done much else. Uh, so I'm going to make two more of these and then I'll see what I'll do for the rest of the day. And, um, uh, don't forget my previous video. I have a, uh, winter pocket letter swap going on so sign up if you like to play along and thanks for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye